despite domestic political turmoil or international trade tensions. CNBC's Jim Cramer knows one thing to be true. If you put up better than expected numbers, your stock will go higher. The Mad Money host has repeatedly talked about stocks that Wall Street underestimated that ended up soaring after reporting strong quarterly earnings numbers. Analysts and investors were just too darned pessimistic or too political, which amounts to the same thing these days. So they kept being blindsided by everything that's going right, Kramer said. With this earnings season coming to a close, Kramer turned to his weekly game plan to see which companies reporting earnings have the capacity to beat the market's expectations. Monday, Fibro Animal Health One of Kramer's favorite trends this year has been the humanization of pets. He even designed his own ETF featuring his favorite pet stocks earlier in the week. While Fibro manufactures medical products for livestock rather than man's best friend, like everything tied to animals, the stock's up huge for the year, Kramer said. Fibro reports after the bell on Monday, Tuesday, BJ's, Best Buy, Tiffany, Hain Celestial, Tilray BJ's Wholesale, while Kramer generally prefers rival Costco. He has hoped that BJ's will post good sales numbers after seeing strong same-store growth at Walmart. Subsidiary Sam's Club BJ's had their initial public offering in late June, so this will be its first earnings report as a publicly traded company. Best Buy Kramer has been a fan of Best Buy since two years ago, when the stock price was half of what it is now. Although many have predicted that Best Buy would be crushed by Amazon, Kramer doesn't agree. As the electronics keep getting bigger and more sophisticated, you need a human to help explain it or install it, he said. Tiffany & Co. Although the luxury jewelry retailer got hit with a downgrade this week, Kramer still has high expectations. I've never seen Tiffany this well run, Kramer said, referring to new CEO Alessandro Bogliolo. Maybe buy some before. The earnings report, and buy some after, Hain Celestial. Kramer thinks this organic and natural foods company is one to watch when it reports earnings on. Tuesday, I want to hear whether management is serious about getting some growth back. Kramer said, Tilray, with Canada set to legalize recreational marijuana in October. Tilray, which is based in the country, has the potential to massively benefit. Kramer prefers a different Canadian cannabis company though, Canopy Growth, which recently received a $4 billion investment from Constellation Brands. Wednesday, Dick's Sporting Goods, PVH, Salesforce Dick's Sporting Goods, the athletic equipment and apparel retailer should benefit from glowingly positive industry trends. According to Kramer, the stock is up 30% this year. Kramer believes these same retail industry tailwinds will also benefit PVH, which owns Tommy Hilfiger and Calvin Klein. Salesforce, this company is one of Kramer's favorites, and he expects excellent results from the cloud computing company. Thursday, Dollar Stores, Burlington, Signet, Campbell's, Ulta, Lululemon, Newtonix, Zuora Thursday boasts the battle of the dollar stores. Since these retailers source many of their products from China, it was expected that they would be hit hard by tariffs. So far, this hasn't been the case. Overall Kramer prefers Dollar General to Dollar Tree. Burlington. Kramer thinks that this off-price chain will keep going up. You have to go to one of their locations to see it with your own eyes. Mine in Brooklyn is packed. The Mad Money host said. Signet Jewelers. The Zales, Jared and K Jewelers owner has new management that's cleaned up its errant ways. Kramer is betting on a good quarter. Campbell Soup, this is one company that Kramer advises investors to avoid. He's betting on a hideous quarter from Campbell's thanks to the series of expensive acquisitions by the company that have weighed on its balance sheet. Ulta Beauty Kramer pointed out how a struggling JCPenney could be a boon for the makeup retailer. Penny has a ton of Sephora's in its stores. 
and that's Alta's biggest competitor, Kramer said. Lululemon. Kramer's only reservation about this stock. Everyone else thinks it's great. 2. If Lulu goes down before it reports, pounce this is a go-to name on weakness. He said, Newtonix. Kramer would buy this cloud name ahead of its earnings report after the bell on Thursday. Zuora. This subscription economy play is the real deal according to Kramer. He's betting on a good quarter. The bottom line it's a ridiculously busy week for the traditionally slow end of summer, said Kramer. There are plenty of consumer names reporting. And so far this earnings season, very few of those have turned out to be losers. Watch the full game plan show chapters Kramer's game plan. The end of earnings season can still deliver upside surprises 36 minutes ago. 10. 03 Disclosure Kramer's Charitable Trust owns shares of Salesforce and Amazon. Questions for Kramer. Call Kramer. 1-800-743-CNBC Wanna take a deep dive into Kramer's world? Hit him up Mad Money Twitter, Jim Kramer Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, buy in questions. Comments. Suggestions for the Mad Money website. Modcap at CNBC.com.